Hey guys, it's Denise and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my makeup. So it's the first time that I'll be doing my makeup. Well, actually it's the second time. So I received this foundation. Now, if you are on any social media, then you know that this ad comes across your timeline like I promise every couple scrolls you're gonna see that ad so everyone was swearing by it. they were acting like it was so for beginners and you know all of that little stuff like that but I tried it because you get it free for 14 days so I wanted to give it a try and I feel like people be thinking that just because it is online and online purchase that some people won't send it back, but me, baby, I'm going to step. So with that being said, I tried it the first day when I say I cannot believe the result that I received from my first time trying to do my makeup full out because I got a Mac and I got a couple other, I want to say NARS and some other, you know, top brands that is supposed to be really, really good for makeup, but it didn't work for me. Like I could not blend it for I couldn't blend it okay so when I received this and I did my makeup just on a humbug like I should have recorded it because it was literally my first time and it looked it really really good for it to be my first time now am I a pro not but I'm gonna do my makeup today because I want you guys to see how good this foundation melts in the skin like butter like girl it's amazing and you gotta get some and I ain't getting paid for this ad, so I need y'all to know that I'm definitely a beginner. I cannot do my own makeup. However, come along on my journey because I'm definitely about to get there. Definitely is, especially starting off here. And this shit is definitely for beginners. And if you a pro, baby, if you a pro, then your makeup definitely going to be flawless. Check it out. Okay, we ready to get started. However, I want to show you guys what's in the box. Like, the box is cute. It comes with a little quote. What does it say? Untraditional, uncompromising, undeniably extra. That's me. It definitely is. And then it got their name. I don't know if this Eel Make It. I need to know how to pronounce that because when I say... I love this stuff and I'm about to be an advocate for them. I need to know how to pronounce that. But it says New York. I don't know what the ill stand for. I would have definitely said it stand for Illinois. That's where I'm from. However, you know, she said they said New York, so that's what we're gonna go with. But it got this cute little confetti in there. It's black. You know, you can't go wrong with black. You got your little receipt. They have how to do your makeup in here. So they give you like the steps on what you should do it tells you to apply two pumps to your entire face jaw and neckline i ain't doing all that i'm just do my face um it tells you to blend out wait a couple minutes who who gave you this with that stuff and i love their little symbol a little symbol too cute as you all know i already opened this stuff so it's open, one side's white, the other side is black. Perfect, perfect, right? And, oh my gosh, I just love this stuff. So I took a survey or a test, I don't know what you wanna call it, but I took that online and it asked me all of these questions regarding my skin and it literally came up with the perfect shade based off of what I, answer online it gave me the shade of my dreams like literally I couldn't have picked this without it and my shade is 165 woke up like this I woke up like this I woke up like this not for real I just couldn't believe based off of my answers it like literally hooked me up with the perfect shade so yeah we gonna get started because I'm literally amazed at 
this product like y'all don't know i've been trying to do my makeup for a couple of years and i don't mind going to get my makeup done but you know some days when you don't have time or other people have to work like you gotta really make accommodations so i couldn't do my own makeup however my skin is not the worst i'm starting to get freckles since i'm getting older but if i put on some fire lashes and some lip and do my eyebrows because i don't hardly got many People ask me all the time who done my makeup, baby. Nobody has done my makeup. It's it's the lashes, it's the lip. Like I'm gonna always have a bold lip, maybe even nude. I love my nudes, and I'm gonna have on some fire lashes. Makeup's not done, but it's about to be now. Ah. So I want y'all to know before I get started, I am an amateur. I'm going to keep on saying that to you guys. I do want your feedback. I do want you to tell me what I can do differently or how I can blend it better or what I can do during this entire journey to get great. You guys are going to help me get great. So I want to just reiterate that I only did my makeup once off the humbug of receiving this product. So with that being said, I want you guys to you know, chime me and let me know what I can do differently, what your technique is so that I can try that. Like, help me become a perfectionist because in a minute, I'm about to be on these videos straight glammed up. Let's get into it. So I already washed my face. I applied the toner and last time I did not apply the moisturizer, but I want to see what it do with the moisturizer. So here we are. I already did the moisturizer and... I feel like that's going to be too greasy because I literally have oily spots. Like my T-zone is oily. So let's see how I do. And then, you know, we're going to do this a couple more times until we get how we want to be. So you guys coming along with me, you guys are going to help me, help your girl, help your girl out. Because I'm an amateur. This is like literally my second time. So I love this stuff though. Let me show you. Okay. So it told me to do three squirts. I was kind of nervous doing this at first because like, but you see how my freckles, they're gone already. Like I ain't even did nothing. And they are literally gone. Like this stuff is something else, baby. Like, okay, so I did one side. And I probably used a little bit more than what they told me to use, but like, girl, you, you see that just as well as I do. Like, you see that. Look at that. Okay, so look at this side. All my little freckles. I love my freckles and I like them to show, but minimum show. Minimum show. But yeah, I see that. Quit acting like you do not see that. Like, I was so amazed at this product. So now you want to see it again? Now you, you see? Hmm. This what it is, girl. This what it is. Go get some. Now look at look like look. This is like butter for the makeup guys. Like, if you think that you have a product that can beat this, baby, email me because I've been looking for one, especially for amateurs. And I'm telling you, Like, this is crazy. Yeah, I just seen my face. Now, this brush, this is a real techniques. Can you see it? There you go. Anyway, I'm real close because I'm in, I'm like literally in my office space that I set aside for while I'm working from home. Cause literally I need a bigger vanity set 
So we're gonna be here. And I wanna do this like often so that I can master it. I literally want some more because that just wasn't enough for me. I thought it covered well, like, yeah, I see that. Do we, that was so fast. I'm gonna do one with my Mac and I'm gonna show you the difference. Maybe I got better during quarantine. I have not been practicing though. Like for a first timer, you definitely want this. I'm gonna put a little bit more. It's just off the thing. Now you don't need this much, but I just can't believe how it blends. So now I have my, my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. I don't know if you can see it but the shade is on the back it's in fun i am going to go here under my eyes and my t-zone i literally learned this just watching my friends, my family, well, my cousin, she do her makeup pretty well. And just like literally watching YouTube videos, like this is how I learned to do this. And I use my con um, my foundation brush because I wanted to blend as perfectly as it could. However, I don't use it right off the bat. I usually start off with one of my sponges, so. I'm gonna use my foundation sponge. I wet it a little, not a lot, but I definitely wet it a little so that it can assist with the blend. And don't lie, don't know. I say I'm professional, but literally, I literally just learned this. I just can't believe how good this stuff blend. Like, look at that foundation. If I threw on some lashes, put my eyebrows on, and put on some lip, you wouldn't even know. So we're gonna blend that out. I also like a lighter highlight because it blends so well with my skin so i'm gonna go on my tart this is tart it is a concealer contour concealer that is in the shade 36 f i'm sorry 36 s medium tan sand so i usually do it as soon as i do the other one This is just for a lighter shade under my eye. I'm gonna use the same brush just for a little blend. And it makes it a little lighter as you can see. Then I'm gonna use this. This is like, it does it all. Uh, uh, you don't even need the other one. You just need a few of these. This right here gets everything so well. You see how it gave me that like lighter look under my eye? It literally looks like my skin if I had lashes on. I got this flesh contour from Ulta. It's 33 chest uh, hazelnut, but <clears throat> 
I actually want a darker one because it like it's kind of like a reddish tone and yeah I don't like that I did that too far up but we gonna make it work yeah And I shape it like a number three on both sides. It's much easier. And then I go here. <clears throat> and again, I use my foundation brush because I just want it to blend perfectly. So I feel like if the foundation is mixed, then it'll blend perfectly. These brushes, they came in the set and they are actually very, very cheap. Like when I got them, they were like $19.99, but for Black Friday, they were like $16.99. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. I found it easier for me to do my eyebrows when my foundation was already on because it literally, it just sticks so well. When I do it when it's not on, I, I cover it with the foundation and concealer sometimes, so... This works easier for me. I don't know if I'm going to change it up later because nothing that I'm doing today is set in stone. I literally just wanted to show you guys how well this new foundation that I have blends in my skin. So I'm going to be snatched every time y'all see me from here on out. Okay. Not on every video, but you know. How I do my eyebrows is kind of different. I squint my eyes because... As you can see, I don't have no eyebrows. And this one is kind of higher than this one as it is anyway with me just looking at you guys without anything on it. So you guys think that they're different. They're different because they're made different, not because I drew them on different. I'm drawing them based off how they are. So I have to squint my eyes so that I can halfway make them look like cousins. So if I squint my eye... I'm able to make, you see, my underline. I know, don't judge me. This is what I do. But it's easier if my eyebrows were actually clean. <clears throat> I don't have that many, but when I get a when I get them cleaned up, it's kind of easier for me to do them. So. So for my brows, I am going to go in with the concealer, the fawn. I'm going to go in at the bottom. Now for the top, I'm going to use my foundation so they can blend better. Now, if you remember earlier, I used this same brush for my nose. And that contour makes it a little darker, so it's easier to blend my brows. I'm going to go with those. This is the exaggerate the color no it's actually Ramel London East End Snob it's the exaggerate um, lip liner
this is by It Cosmetics in color Marvelous. And I have the setting powder by the crayon case. And then I'm going to go on with my highlighter. This is MAC. Oh, darling. It broke. If you don't have a brush, I don't know what mine is. Just blend it and just go above your bronzer. I like a lot of shine to my face. My Morphe setting spray. Now you see how I look, but when it dry, it's gonna be bomb. Be right back. So this is the finished product. How did I do guys for my very first, okay, second time. Now what I would do differently is I have oily skin in some spots as well as like, as far as my like T-zone is concerned, it's very, very oily. So I would probably go in after I do the foundation with a powdered foundation, possibly Fenty. They came out with a new one, so we're going to see. But yeah, let me know in the comments what I need to do differently, what your routine is, and how I can improve. Because with the rate I'm going this fast with that foundation, I'm definitely going to be in your face super fierce. Subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. As always, you can know I messed with you guys the long way. Peace out. Don't judge my hair on my lashes. That ain't none of y'all business. My hair like this for a reason. And I gotta grow these eyelashes back because I literally start wearing strips and I don't take them off properly when I'm in the bed and ready to go to bed. I just snatch them off. So I snatched a million lashes off with it.